Let's take a while for this to happen before. There you go. And you're lovely, Mika. And we're live again. Right, I'm gonna not steal your internet. Have fun. Thanks. Okay, let's see round two. Is this working? Okay, let me respond to some of you that are saying, is it? No, it was us. Ooh. Oh, hi, two peas in a pod. How are you? Right, let me move this so I can read and not look like I'm just staring weirdly into space. Oh, hi, Kath. Mm -hmm. mm. Yay, it works. Good, I'm glad. Okay, so we've got four people watching again. So let's wait a little bit longer. Let's see how many more people we can get. Give me a chance to drink some more gin. Oh, no, Brenda, is it not working for you? I love Eeyore. Now that sounds really random to anyone else that isn't reading the um, the chat, but Eeyore's Naughty Angels are here. Definitely my favourite Winnie the Pooh character. Oh. <laughs> Kath just said to me, I'm just going to be on social. Like, like we're reaching 10,000. <laughs> Oh, what does FBW stand for? Can I ask? Oh. <laughs> what? What does FBW stand for? Yeah, Ryan. What does FBW stand for? Oh, hi guys. Oh, hi Fluffy Dolphin. You're back. Geeks United are in. Maybe that's some fighting talk there for the win. Is that actually what it stands for, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's all about honesty here. We say no cheating. Okay, so we've got 29 people. Oh good, they're all in. Team Jam. Hi Anne, hi Alison. <laughs> Me and I don't believe you for a second. Oh hi everybody. Okay, so Jade, I read that as Scandu. Wear green, be seen. Oh, Tawny and Mr. Tawny. I still call my Tawny owl Tawny. Like, I'm a kind of adult and she is still Tawny to me. What are weirdos are here? Hmm. I like the name. Oh, no worries, Shelley. I'm kind of enjoying it. We did have to put a baby down to sleep in about two seconds, so she may or may not wake up. Who knows? Bye. <laughs> Pajama Rama. The Quizzing Rascals. I love all these names. Oh, Foxley's Jumpers. Team Jack. I'm just literally just reading what it says on the, on the chat at the moment. Okay, we are going to start the quiz in about four minutes. You're doing a different name each week. My God, most people can't even think of one team name, let alone a different one 
each week. Norfolk and Tartar. Okay, so these, I'm guessing, guys, you're all in the UK at the moment. Oh, hi, Jill. Um, have we got anybody from abroad? Was this just Sussex combo? That doesn't, doesn't really count as abroad, sorry. People, mine says 92. <laughs> Come here. This is my companion. He's going to be asking the questions. Right. Two minutes, two minutes to get your drinks ready. I know, he's cute, isn't he? <laughs> Les Quiz, that's definitely how they'd say it in, in France. Oh, Arrow, look, you're like winning the show here. Um, yeah, he's called Arrow. He's available for walks and for cuddles and, you know, poo picking if you want to do that as well. Oh, hello, humble dog idiot. What a very apt name you have there. <laughs> the Epitol of first self isolation. Good. Everyone should be in isolation. Terry the Toad. Wasn't the one that went with Terry the Toad. I'm sure we saw earlier on the Facebook group. Are you all members of the Facebook group? Oh, I'm from Cheltenham. That's where I'm from. Well, kind of. Half of between Cheltenham and Gloucester. But anyway, hi. One minute to go. Screamer pillar. I mean, some people are just saying yes. Not really sure what that means. Hello from Girl Guiding Advocates. Is that drink large enough? No. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, are we just having people from Cheltenham here? It's not the second drink actually, it's the first drink. Oh, no, that's actually a lie, isn't it? <laughs> Somerset North. I love it. I might go a bit Somerset every now and again. From Waddo. Oh, how's she got that? She's got a drink. Exactly. I'm not doing scale. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're just having a conversation here while we're waiting for things. Oh. Plymouth? I like how you clarified where Plymouth was, like Plymouth, Devon. But I suppose, hmm, bit to aunt. Cotswold Crusaders. Gin is flowing in clear the way. Good. Hi, Beck. I'm from Cheltenham and Yorkshire. Is that a bit like having a summer house in Yorkshire? Okay, so guys, we are about to start. I have, I say I've worked out, I haven't worked out at all. Kath's worked out how to have the questions up for you as well. Um, so I am going to read the question. You'll see the question. And you will have about 20 to 30 seconds to answer it, okay? Please no cheating. Please be well behaved. Pardon? Oh yeah, don't put the answers on the comments because then everyone will know them. My mum and dad are upset you didn't give them an international mention. Well, I hope they don't cry. <laughs> Hello mum and dad, Reynolds. Okay, right, are we ready? Is everyone ready? Have you got pens, pencils and gin? Here we go. Sorry, 
So, I thought I would start off with a round on girl guiding. Are you ready? Here we go. Question number one. In 1909, some girls gate crashed the first Boy Scout rally and asked Robert Baden Powell to create something for girls. Where was this rally held? Can you be in charge of timing? Thanks. I can't have too many jobs. Twenty seconds is enough. <laughs> Either they know it or they don't. Okay. I also realised how badly written that question was, but you know, we'll. we'll... Got me. <laughs> okay, and the next one. A junior section for girls under 11 was formed in 1914. It was renamed Brownies in 1915, but what was its original name? Oh no, why is it a controversial question? Oh God, not the first one. <laughs> If the answers are wrong, please blame the Girl Guiding website. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question three. How many acres of beautiful land is Foxley set in? Now, the question isn't whether it's beautiful or not. The question is, how many acres? <laughs> And the next question. Girl Guiding is a registered charity. What is their charity number? Can you just let me know quickly whether these are too quick, too slow, too anything? Actually, just too quick or too slow. Don't tell me anything else. Too quick, it's fine, it's fine, too quick, too quick. Okay, I will leave longer. We'll do 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm too hard. You can Come do on, it, guys. Gary. Guys, you're supposed to get 100% on this round. Okay, we're ready to move on. And the next one. What year did Girl Guiding launch the big gig? A pop concert just for guides and rangers. Pardon? Do you have the VAT number? No. <laughs> no. Answer the question. <laughs> I love this. I love having the live chat on. I can see what you guys are saying. Okay. I was asleep. I feel like I've been asleep this year. Okay, and the next one. <laughs> what year did Anna McNuff become an ambassador for Girl Guiding? Actually, Kathy, you could be writing down your answers here. Oh, yes, I could. I know them all. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know any of them. I went up, who lives in Gloucester now, I've realised. What is this? It doesn't matter, just leave it. Yes, that's, well, I think that's her real name. I assume it is. Do you get a badge? Um, yeah, I'll make you a paper mache bag and 
bag, badge, and I will send it to you. Now, ooh, is this a better speed, guys? <laughs> okay, how many members, how many member organizations make up WAGs? Yay. <laughs> Why would it not be that? Okay, good. Are you checking your clock? Oh no, one, one job in my time. One job, Kath, one job. You moved the gin away. It's mine, that's fine. Get off my gin. Okay, and the next one I did. Who was the previous owner of Foxley's before it was gifted to the Girl Guides? Let's just look and see whether my eyebrows were even then. <laughs> they are not okay. So who was the previous owner of Foxley's before it was gifted to the Girl Guides? Ooh, 170 people watching. Hello. Okay. Hmm, this one hasn't really worked. In what year did the brownies uniform change from the brown dress to include a choice of yellow or brown sweatshirts, a yellow t-shirt and brown shorts, clots or sweatpants? These were accompanied by a brown sash, which they would sew their badges on. And, I mean, if you get this bonus point, then I'm impressed, don't worry. Bonus point, if you can name the fashion designer that designed it. You get two points for this. No, you can't call a trefford. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Ruby, do you actually know who designed it? We'll soon see. We'll soon see. <laughs> it was my brown uniform too. There's a hint, kind of. Okay. Okay. So who is the president of Girl Guiding? Short, simple. Everyone surely knows that. Don Chambers, I don't think you're taking this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely has, Sally. <laughs> I've also spell checked the website as well. I'll let anyone know. hints and tips and everything okay so that is it for round one so go grab a drink do whatever a couple of minutes and we will be back for round two which is the specialist round that's correct the girl guiding one wasn't <laughs> <laughs> the girl guiding one was just general knowledge surely everyone knew this oh trust me Don. i can make it to the end mm -hmm. <laughs> there are five rounds, ten questions per round, fifty questions. 
course it's getting easier. Oh look, Kathy, getting specialist mentions. Oh, what did I get a mention on? Someone just said hi. That's it. Oh, hi. <laughs> Tell me about your drinks, guys. Who's on gin? Who's having a cup of tea? Oh, I'd love yeah, it. we had a cup of tea before. I thought that was someone telling me that I needed to let the dog out. And I was like, oh no, he's okay. Let's do a round on pizza now. <laughs> sure, okay, improvise. Should pineapple be on pizza? Yes or no? Yes, we are at Foxley's, but we live here. Oh, where are you? Oh. Mango beer. Oh, I love mango beer. I've got tea. Yes, never, no, yes, yes, never. Oh, oh, it's split. See, I'm double pizza, uh, double, double pizza, double pineapple. I love it. It's the answer to, it's the answer to pizzas. You don't get a point for that, by the way. No points. Just thought in a minute. Mm, say. <laughs> I feel like people are like more angry about the pineapple on pizza, a bit more passionate about this. Well done, Kerry. Well done. I did not. Oh. All the points. Okay, here we go. Are you back? Everyone got their drink ready? Let's go. It's your specialist round. <laughs> you guys are going to love this round. It's on space. Yay! <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so what is the only sign of the zodiac named after two living things? Pull up a chair, Kath, make yourself comfy. Becky, oh, are you, Becky. I, Becky, are you cheating? Sharon, how do you know that Becky's cheating if you're not cheating? <laughs> hmm. They're on a different team. <laughs> okay, the next question. Which planet has a year which is shorter than its day? Would you have known these? Of course. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Oh. Don't gang up on Becky, guys. <laughs> Just because she's cheating. <laughs> so which planet has a year which is shorter than its day? Don, are you back in now, by the way? This is nothing to do with guiding. You should know all of these. I want 100%. Okay, the next question. How many stars does our solar system have in it? And for this one, you only need to get it to the nearest 100. Would you have known this? Yeah, lots. Yes, that's an accurate measurement of stars right there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. Is that a picture doing the scouts like the promise, Beck? <laughs> I think it's more like a, I don't really know what it is. Okay, next question. Do, 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 do. Prior to 2006, our solar system had nine planets. Now it has eight. Which planet was taken out of the list and why? Two points. That's why it's called the specialist knowledge <laughs> round. Like, hmm. Hmm. 
Why is that controversial? These are facts. I got them off Facebook. <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> got them off Wikipedia. What could be wrong about them? Oh, I might just talk about this and pineapple and pizza. Did we? Ruth, did we? Next one, moving on, no getting angry. Okay, what type of creatures were Laska and Benny who went into space in 1958? I know this one. <laughs> the fact that she says that with such confidence shows that she didn't know the others. <laughs> you guys should be lucky that this is your specialist round. I was going to do steam engines. <laughs> steam transportation throughout the ages. Okay. Six, name our planets in the correct order from the sun. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a man too. Good Tim, I'm glad you are. <laughs> Which steam museum is that? Oh yeah, I forgot the humble dog idiots were in. They might have won that round. Oh yeah, they may need a bit longer on this one. Because oh, so that they can research it more. Oh yeah, maybe. Is Google slow? <laughs> Megan. <laughs> 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 Ah, oh, the Great Western Railway. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Wendy? Wendy, are you here? She is here. She's a captain of a team. Oh, is she? Oh, that's the easiest one. Okay, moving on then. Number seven. Who was the first British female astronaut in space. So who was the first British female astronaut in space? <laughs> Me. <laughs> That's pretty cool if it was. <laughs> yes, yes. Just let you know it was Robin. Um, here, can you put them on Facebook, please? You're in charge of social, as you say. It's on Facebook. Oh, the, oh, the questions. Of course I can. Really, she's going to... My person that's in charge of social is going to put them on Facebook. I want to go on the Wi-Fi. Then. Oh, well, maybe. Do they need them now? Let me just go back. Or after. Um, what's she saying? What's she saying? In the little breaks, please, could we have a replay of all the questions in the section? My internet cut out. Ruby, do you just need a replay of the questions in this section? <laughs> okay, next one. Hmm. Okay, sorry, this one doesn't look very good. What year was the first TV satellite sent into space? So what year was the first TV satellite sent into space? We will do three rounds and then two rounds. And then, so we'll mark them. So we'll do three rounds and then we'll do two rounds. 
Should we mark them in the break? Yeah, let's mark them. Let's mark them after the third round. Adam? Ooh, thank you. Okay. I've no idea how long we spent on that one. Sorry. Let's go to the next one. What are the smallest stars called? Bill, Bob and Ben. What are the smallest stars called? Why am I being heckled? <laughs> of course. Baby stars. Oh, little baby stars. Baby stars. Starlets. Are you still timing? No, I'm trying to get the question written down. Slacker. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. 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 What is the biggest galaxy in the universe? from latest studies. What's the biggest galaxy in the universe from latest studies called? Again, a really badly written question, I'm sorry. What is the biggest galaxy in the universe from latest studies called? <laughs> Just going to let the dog out. Okay, so that is the end of Space Round. Time for another drink. You won't be answering any questions by the end of, well, by round five. Do, 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 do. Are you putting the ones up with answers? No, don't do that. <laughs> no. Why would I put no, no, no. <laughs> How does everyone think they're coming on? Do you think you've got 100%? 0%? Somewhere in between? Oh, no one's telling me what they think. <laughs> that's quite exact. Okay. One correct so far, that's good. 3.7%, quite exact. <laughs> Come on, guys, can we have a bit more confidence in your ability to know about girl guiding and space? <laughs> See, that's what I like. We are winning. Straight. No messing around. Who cares? Need more wine. Yep. We haven't got any wine. We've run out. Of one is on. Scream a pillar for the win! <laughs> Becky, you got 99%. Is that because you were cheating? Are we going back to that? Um, pictures from round one are on. Pictures from round... I don't know why I'm repeating this because you can hear her. Pictures from round one are on the Facebook group. Please join the Facebook... Album. Please join the Facebook group if you haven't because there is lots of interesting things there and there's going to be announcements there as well which you don't know about. Don, are you just becoming friends with the humble dog people? 
I can hook you guys up. It's fine. <laughs> sure, Jade. You don't have a joker. There are no jokers. There are no jokes here. I feel like maybe that should be the advertising slogan for girl guiding. Girl guiding was fine. Space is trickier. If it's around on nursing or an anatomy, I'll win this. Ooh. I was going to do like a human science one, but then Kat told me I couldn't have too many sciencey uh, things. Space is also... Why Facebook and YouTube? Pretty much because Kath wanted to have a YouTube channel because she thought she was cool like the kids. I was going to say, actually, Emily, you might have some competition from Jill about nursing or anatomy. You have 206 bones in your body as an adult, 270 when you're born. Round two is also on Facebook. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> Ruby wants to do bone naming. That's always a fun game. A maths round, please. Five rounds, ten questions. How many questions in total? There you go. No points for this. Is there a round on scouting? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Facebook Live may have been easier. Kathleen's TikTok, please don't get us doing any more ridiculous things. <laughs> no, you can't have a Harry Potter round, mostly because I don't know anything about it and I couldn't pronounce any of their names, apart from Harry Potter, obviously. Okay, guys, one more round and then we will do some marking and we will know exactly who is in the lead and who's not in the lead. Okay. Um, so I'm back to wanting to know where a certain person is. Because this round is all for Wendy Ingle. Wendy Ingle, are you here? She's on the desk right I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm, if it's not, then this is pointless. Yeah, carry on. Anyway, this round is called Things That Wendy Ingle Knows or Doesn't Know, otherwise known as General Knowledge. Okay? And as it says, if you don't understand this, then you should join our Facebook group. Okay. The world champion of which sport wins the Swadling Cup? Oh, it's really not favouritism. <laughs> so, the world champion of which sport wins the Swadling Cup? Team yeah, I was just laughing at people telling me to hurry up. <laughs> okay, and the next one. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, here you go. Where is the smallest muscle in the human body located? Here you go, guys. For one to the human anatomy. Round, you've got one question. Oh, actually, I think maybe two. <laughs> well done, guys. Okay, next one. Which European capital city was built on 14 islands? So which European capital city was built on 14 islands? <laughs> can hence the sarcasm there, like, woo, go alley.
Okay, next question. Steven Spielberg was one of the co-founders of which movie studio? So Steven Spielberg was one of the co-founders of which movie studio? Do you know this one? The stony silence says it all. No. <laughs> Okay, number five, which powder includes turmeric, fenugreek, chilies, and cumin? Turmeric, turmeric, however you want to pronounce it. Oh, I really want to see people's scores. I am looking forward to this. <laughs> yes, it's an easy one. Right. What was the name of the canine member of Enid Blyton's Famous Five? This one? Oh, sorry. Would you have, uh, glad you're paying attention. Would you have got this question? Well, yes. Would you have? Yes. Hmm. I don't think she should be allowed <laughs> to, to answer questions again. A dog question, see? I'm confused what you're looking at. Are you guys saying which ones you've got right, or how many you've got right in total, <laughs> or are you just counting? <laughs> well done, Sally. Well done, Sally. <laughs> okay, you guys are just singing on chat now. Um, which saint's feast is on Boxing Day? Are you guys really bored or really drunk? Which one? <laughs> Which saint's feast is on Boxing Day? You Camp are not a saint. You're definitely not a saint, Ali. Um, campfire songs, <laughs> wasn't that wasn't that on Saturday you guys were supposed to be singing campfire songs? Number eight, in which country would you find the original Legoland? Don't, don't get involved. Sorry, I'm not encouraging this. I am, I keep doing it. Um, have you not eaten, Robin? Sorry, sorry, must concentrate. In athletics, what is the last event of the decathlon? Um, Do we get bonus points for the town? No, I can't even remember what the last question was. Do you just want to go back to Foxes, do you? It's really pretty at the moment, really pretty. There's like blossoms and all the horses are running around. Final question in this round. Which English city would have been the new capital if Adolf, Adolf Hitler's invasion plans had been successful? This is just common knowledge, guys, come on. Oh, 
Okay, so that round is now done and it is on the Facebook. The Facebook. The Facebook. Not just any old Facebook, the Facebook. Um, right, can, how do I go right? Oh my God. Sorry, guys. Sorry, close your eyes. This will be annoying. <laughs> all right, why is Kath getting all the fangirling? <laughs> if anyone knows another way of putting these up where we don't have to do this, please tell us. Okay, I also need... I also need the answers. Yeah, you have. Thanks, guys. You did it. Did you give me the answers? Yes. They're there. Sorry. Oh, sorry. So will I just work out the technology? Okay, are you guys ready for the answers? That's fine. How do you live at Foxley's? Do you have to apply? No, it's like a punishment. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll be ready for the answers to round one. So, in 1909, girls gate crashed the first Boy Scout rally and asked Robert Baden Powell to create something for girls. Where was this rally held? The answer is. Crystal Palace. I'm really sorry if that's like a... Oh, right there. Oh, thanks, Liz. I know they didn't. Oh. Oh, this is the answer. <laughs> I love it. Yes, they did. <laughs> it would be interesting to find out why they didn't do that, Sarah, but that's what it says, so... Okay, mm. a junior section for girls under 11 was formed in 1914. It was renamed Brownies in 1915, but what was its original name? And the answer is Rosebuds. How many acres of beautiful land is Foxley's set in? They were invited, okay. Um... Foxley's is set in 65 acres of land, and it is beautiful. <laughs> no. Shh, stop shouting out in the back. Um, Girl Guiding is a registered charity. What is their charity number? I don't know whether anyone got this, but the answer is 306016. the leeway on which one? Of the charity number? Oh, the acres. The acres. You can have um, five either way. What on earth was that explosion outside? Fireworks. Foxes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so number five. What year did Girl Guiding launch the big gig? And they launched it in year 2000. No, no half points. You either know it or you don't, guys. Um, number six. What year did Anna McNuff become an ambassador for Girl Guiding? And that happened in 2017. How many member organisation make up WAGS? And the answer is 150. Number eight, 
who was the previous owner of Foxley's before it was gifted to the Girl Guides? And the answer is Anne Archibald Sauderson, S-A-U-D-E-R-S-O-M. Her, her picture is in Hampshire, the, so the bar. Her picture is in the bar. In what year did the Brownies uniform change from the brown dress to the yellow t-shirt? We'll just summarise. And that was 1990. And the bonus point, the designer is Jeff Banks. Okay. Jade, the answer to seven was 150. Who is the president of Girl Guiding? And that is somebody. That is Sophie, the Countess of Wessex. Okay, and the next round, the best round on space. Here we go. Ignore that, or you can grab a drink if you want. What is the only sign zodiac named after two living things? And that is Gemini. The best sign, obviously. Which planet has a year which is shorter than its day? And the answer to that is Venus. How many stars does our solar system have to the nearest 100? It only has one. It was a little bit of a trick, sorry. Prior to 2006, our solar system has nine planets. Now it has eight. Which planet was taken out of the list and why? And the answer is Pluto. And because it was downgraded, I can't even see my answer here. Changed to a dwarf. Changed to a dwarf planet. Sorry if that's controversial. Jade, you keep missing questions. What are you doing? It was Gemini number one. Okay. What type of creatures were Laska and Benny who went to space in 1958? They were mice. Name our planets in the correct order from the sun. She might. Pisces are two fish. Gemini not the only answer. Yeah. Hmm. We will give you that answer. If you've got Pisces, you can get that as well. Is Pisces two there? Anyway, name that they go... Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then previously it would have been Pluto, but now it's not. Okay. Who was the first British female astronaut in space? That was Helen Sharman. Well, I don't know if you got that one right. What year was the first TV satellite sent into space? 1963. Um, what are the smallest, oh, what are the smallest stars called? And they are called tiny red dwarfs. And number 10, what is the biggest galaxy in the universe from latest studies? And that is the IC1101. Everyone knows that one. Come on, guys. Come on. Um, and I'm inclined to agree with Rue Harris that Pisces is a singular fish. I will Google. Okay. Right. And then our next round. Okay. Okay, so the world champion of which sport wins the Swaveling Cup? And and that is table tennis. We haven't done these questions. Oh, yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where is the smallest muscle in the human bone? Where is the smallest muscle in the human body located? Why does it keep doing this? Yes. And that is the ear. Okay. 
Which European capital city was built on 14 islands? And the answer to that is Stockholm. Steven Spielberg was one of the co-founders of which movie studio? And that is DreamWorks. Question five. Which powder includes turmeric, fenugreek, chilies, and cumin? And that's curry powder. Question six. What was the name of the canine member of Ina Blyton's famous five? And that was, of course, Timmy. Timmy. Number seven. Which saint's feast is on Boxing Day? St. Stephen's. Question eight, in which country would you find the original Legoland? And Denmark. Question nine, in athletics, what is the last event of the decathlon? And that's the 1500 meters. Question 10, which English city would have been the new capital if Adolf Hitler's invasion plans had been successful, and that is Oxford. Okay, so well done, guys, have you got some right? Okay, let, let me see who's... What's going on? I'm just going to have a quick read-through of the comments. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. I literally learnt that, like, last year. Two fish. Okay, so we are going to say that Pisces has two fish in some signs. Um, Brenda Bax, which question two are you challenging? The answer to question 10 in this round was Oxford. Yes, you can have Gary Masala. Good old Gary. Number one, do we get London? For the Crystal Palace one? Mm. No. That says no. Okay, come on guys, give us your scores. Let's see what you've got. 14, 12. Satellite is 1962, not 1963. Ooh. Can you look that up? Okay. What year was the first TV satellite put into space? 18 out of 32, 13, 23. Ooh. Is 23 the best score so far? Oh, come on, guys. We've got a 22, that's pretty close. Oh, we've got another 23. Oh, 25. Okay, so let me just scroll back and see who said this. Kirsty, you are correct. The satellite went into space. 1962, not 1963. Sorry, my mistake. But if you put either of those two answers, you can have the point. I don't really know. I'm not a quiz master. Right. Okay, so let's go to Liar Sarah. No way did Sarah get 30. Don't be mean to Sarah. Right, drink, sweets, anything you want. You have five minutes? Do you want five minutes or should we just quack on? Quack on. Quack on? Is that because you saw ducks? Yeah. Let's see what the first person says. Do you need to wee? You're welcome. Oh, no worries. Quack on. Quack on. Okay, so that means anything we've got wrong, we can have a point for. No, Don. Just because <laughs> you've got all these wrong. Quack on, quack on, quack on. Sorry, Rue, you're massively Go. outrageous. Okay. <laughs> Round four, who sang it? And I'm going to try so hard to not sing these. Oh. Shush. Um, so you get one point for the artist and one point for the name of the song. Stop looking at this one. Sorry. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. For some reason, I need to read them like this.
You on timing? I can be. Okay, yep. next one. It felt so wrong, it felt so right, don't mean I'm in love tonight. Must talk like a robot. I wonder how many people are singing right now. <laughs> I am not singing them. Do you get double points if you sing and dance too? No, but please do. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. <laughs> Stopped into a church I passed along the way. I've suddenly gone very posh. No problem, Kerry, I'll give you a bit longer. Sorry. I realise I realize these take longer, mm. but no one's even talking on the chat. You're obviously thinking about this round. Okay. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. I'm sorry that it's off the thing. So, hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. <laughs> what, this one? You used to do this one in a <laughs> choir. What kind of choir were you in? <laughs> that one was really hard to not. Why, thank you very much. Shall I sing other songs just to confuse people? We've got 185 people watching. Hi. And then there's probably more people because they've got a team. Oh yeah, hi. There'll be love and laughter and peace ever after. Tomorrow, just you wait and see. She's got to sing the answers. <laughs> It'll go up, Kerry. Of this question... The questions will go up on Facebook in a minute, Kerry. The left hand side of your question is hidden by your picture. Of this one, sorry, it says, There'll be love and laughter and peace ever after. Tomorrow, just you wait and see. Did we not have five? Yes, we had five. Okay. Question seven. White shirt, now red. My bloody nose, sleeping. You're on your tippy toes. Can you tell people that they're in the albums? Okay, so these are now in the albums. No, no, no. 
people are struggling to find them. If you're struggling to find where the questions are, they're in the albums. I'll see if I can yes. make them clearer. Five was hanging out the side of his best friend's ride, etc. She say. So question seven, this one. White shirt, now red, my bloody nose, sleeping, you're on your tippy toes. Question number eight. Unaware, but underlined, I figured out this story. It wasn't good. <laughs> so hard not to sing these. None of you want me singing, trust me. So my social media expert is putting them on Facebook as we speak. They are marked as announcements, so they have to get removed as well. <laughs> is it how poshly I say holler? Question five was hanging out at the side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. <laughs> okay. Number nine, you shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much love drives a man insane. Shh, don't sing it. <laughs> you shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much love drives a man insane. I have the squeakiest chair for this. Um, they are all going on Facebook now, so you'll be able to find out what number seven is. Okay. And the final one. To all your friends, you're delirious, so consumed in all your doom. To all your friends, you're delirious, so consumed in all your doom. Are we good? Okay, so that was round four. And the final round. Basically, it's around all about 2019. Because this year is weird. So we are just going to look back at last year and remember weird things that happened then as well. Is everybody ready to go to round five? Question one. The NHS banned the purchasing of which piece of equipment? The first experimental version being invented by Scotland's Alexander Bain in 1846. So last year, the NHS banned the purchasing of which piece of equipment? Are you timing? Yes. She's not timing, guys. Come on. Can I have a, a new assistant, please? <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, next one. A picture of which everyday item on Instagram became a global phenomenon by becoming the most liked post in online history. A picture of which everyday item on Instagram became a global phenomenon by becoming the most liked post in online history. Phenomenon, such a good word to say. Yep, I'll press the start button guys so we can time. Do, 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 do. Oh, no singing, I'll tell you the answers. <laughs> okay. In Paris, there was a major fire at which medieval cathedral? In Paris, there is a, there was, sorry, or there is? Hmm. In Paris, there is a major fire at which medieval cathedral? Rue, you don't need a cluster, don't support big corporate coffee chains. You're naughty. <laughs> Please buy from Independence and don't use single-use cups. Thanks. Public service announcement. <laughs> WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange, maybe, is arrested after seven years of living in which country's London embassy? WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange is, is that how you say it? Is arrested after seven years of living in which country's London embassy? Apparently someone wants to adopt you. Hmm, I'm available. <laughs> who are they actually? Did they have gin? Question five, the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup starts. In which country is it held and which country wins it in July? Two points. Two point. Oh, hi, Arrow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mind your head. Come on. Oh, you're stupid. The dog's stupid. He's back. <laughs> Hello. That's who wants to adopt you. Hi. <laughs> okay, next question. Question six. Which historic shipyard which built the RMS Titanic ceased trading? Now, the dockyard has a name, but it's also based in a certain place. I... We'll give you both, maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? Like an evil genius. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Alright, look at your adoring fans. Question seven. Who became the oldest football manager in Premier League history at the age of 71 years and 198 days? That's quite exact. Who became the oldest football manager in Premier League history at the age of 71 years and 198 days? Jen, do you want a drink? Yes, please. What are you doing? Drink. What are you doing? Drink. 
Drink, why are you making me drink? Oh, drink again. We're not playing international drinking rules. <laughs> Question eight. What was the Christmas number one song called? Remember what year? <laughs> last year, obviously. This whole round is about last year. Spit the dog's head. Question number nine. Which country's Prime Minister won the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize? More drink. Which country's Prime Minister won the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize? It's a good thing to win, isn't it? I'd like to win. Okay, and then... The final question. God, it's an awful question to finish on. Okay, right, here we go. Who won? I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. What? Not just call on the Is it not? Never watched it. Who won that thing in the jungle where they sit on bugs? Who won? And it's on Facebook. Da -da -da. Okay. Yay. Five rounds, ten questions per round, well done. Okay, now we have to do that weird thing where we flick back through everything. If you missed any and you could read really quickly, they're here now. Here we go. Round four, who sang it? So you get a point for the artist and a point for the name of the track. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. I would know my answers if I could find my mouth. Here we go. So that is The Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston. Question two. It felt so wrong. It felt so right. Don't mean I'm in love tonight. That is I Kissed the Girl by Katy Perry. Question three, when you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. So that's Always Look on the Bright Side of Life by Eric Idle. Always look on the bright side of life. That's my assistant. Question four, stopped into a church I passed along the way. And that is California Dreaming by the Mamas and Papas. I need to like radio DJ voice there. Question number five. Hanging out the passenger's side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Of course, it's TLC, no scrubs. <laughs> yes, it is. So it's a point for the song and a point for the person. Yes.
Question, question, question. One up. There'll be love and laughter and peace ever after. Tomorrow, just you wait and see. Question number six is White Cliffs of Dover and it was the incredible Vera Lynn. Oh, oh, my dog's just collapsed on my arms. White shirt, now red, my bloody nose, sleeping, you're on your tippy toes. And that was Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. Also incredible. Just giving you my music taste here, guys. <laughs> Question eight. Unaware but underlined, I figured out this story. It wasn't good. That is Back for Good by The Pretty Rubbish. Take that. I want you back. I want you back. Moving on. Okay. Question nine. <laughs> you shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too Much Love Drives a Man Insane is Great Balls of Fire by Jerry Lee Lewis. Question 10. To all your friends, you're delirious, so consumed in all of your doom. It is Beautiful by Christina Aguilera, who I love. Question 1 was The Greatest Love of All, Whitney Houston. Okay. Round five, all about 2019. The NHS banned which piece of equipment? And the answer to this is buying the fax machine. <laughs> so the NHS are no longer allowed to buy a fax machine. Question two, a picture of which everyday item on Instagram became a global phenomenon? by becoming the most liked post in online history, and that was an egg. And I think the reason they did it was so that Kylie Jenner wasn't the most liked, just, just passing the dog over, um, wasn't the most liked post? Who knows? Question three, in which Paris, in Paris, there was a major fire at which medieval cathedral, and that was the Notre Dame. Question four, WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange is arrested after seven years of living in which country's London embassy? And that's Ecuador's. Question number five, the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup starts. In which country is it held and which country wins it in July? So it's held in France and it was the USA that were the winners. So two points for those. One point each. Question six, which historic shipyard, which built the RMS Titanic, ceased trading? And the shipyard was called Harland and Wolf, and that was in Belfast. Question seven, who became the oldest football manager in Premier League history at the age of 71 years and 198 days? And that was Roy Hodgson for Crystal Crisp. Question eight, what was the Christmas number one song called? And that was called I Love Sausage Rolls. I love sausage rolls. I let her have that one. Question number nine, which country's Prime Minister won the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize? And that was Ethiopia's. And then the final question, who won I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, was Jacqueline Josser. Tally up your scores, guys. Let's see who got the most points. The egg wins it. Is the egg in our group? The egg is in our group. We're going to get it trending again, please. <laughs> Bonus points for knowing it was a lad baby. No one. the last round. <laughs> okay, right, we're going to stay on for a little bit, guys, and no, the least score does not win. Why is it there? <laughs> I've got so many secret messages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so we've got 51 out of 62. Oh, we've got a sad face. Don't, don't know sad faces. 
happy faces only. What's the booby prize? Um, boobies. <laughs> 55 out of 62? That quiz was hard. 43.5, 54. What did you get the 0. 0.5 from? Mm -hmm. 36, 33, 42, 38. Guys, these are good. It was a hard quiz. 55, 64. Can you get any higher than 55? I know. Wait, let me see. I think maybe... Um, Okay, so we've got a couple of 55s. Oh, we've got another 55. Anyone more than 55? Or we've got a tie break. Oh, 54, bad adding. <laughs> <laughs> You want 57? I mean, no, I want 57. Thanks, guys. I think. How many people have we got on 55? Has anyone got more than 55? Oh, what a weird those 55. And yet the other 102 team got 54. <laughs> they all cheated. Everyone cheated. We need to know who. Okay, come yeah, on. The right. prize. Okay, so so far, the 102 weirdos with 55. There's a lot of 55. No, no, I just think 102 weirdos at the moment. No. Oh, no. Kirsty, who were you? What team are you? Well done, Wendy and Deborah. Well done. A round just for you, Wendy. <laughs> Kirsty, what team are you? Oh, Norfolk and Chance. Okay, so we've got Norfolk and Chance and the um, Wado Weirdos. Thanks, guys. Oh, we have an announcement for next week. Please check out our Facebook. Um, I say our Facebook; it's nothing to do with me. Um, <laughs> we've got, we've got, an, we have an announcement for next week. Please check out our Facebook. Something is going to be revealed. Hmm. Okay. So, who wants a tiebreaker? Nobody wants joint winners. So what are weirdos and um, Norfolk and Somerset, maybe? Norfolk and someone? Okay, so here you go. Your tie-breaking question. You have to write the answers here, guys. In 2010, to the nearest million, how many tins of Quality Street were sold in the UK and Ireland? What are weirdos and um, Norfolk and some things? Please write your answers. You've got 30 seconds, go. Da -da 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 -da. Boom! Ali, you do not get 55. <laughs> you do not get 55. Lots? Yes. Ten seconds, guys, if I don't get your answers. Oh, okay, we've got 24 million. Come on, Wado, Wado Weirdos. Five seconds to go. Wado Weirdos. Is that Wado's Weirdos? Denberg, you're Wado Weirdos. What? Wado, 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 Wado. Okay, so yeah, Jen's Wado Weirdos. So we've got 24 million and 15, uh, 14 million. Vicky and Jen, are you on the same team? Okay, so 
<laughs> okay, anyway, the who, whatever team, Vicky Selstrom, you've got it exactly right. How do you know this? Do you work for Nestle? Um, it was 15 million. So whatever team you are, you guys are the winners. Yay! So as they say on all good YouTube channels, please subscribe. Um, and we will see you next week. So bye guys. Thank you very much for the quiz. Bye. <laughs> bye. It's a blank page, it's nothing. Right, bye guys. Do, do, do.